The Florida Panthers will face the Boston Bruins in Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals at TD Garden. The series is currently tied 1-1, with Florida listed as minus 115 favorites and Boston at minus 105. The total for the game is set at 7 goals. In Game 2, the Panthers dominated with a 6-1 victory over the Bruins. They capitalized on their offensive opportunities and scored 6 goals on 33 shots. Sergei Bobrovsky has been solid in goal for the Panthers, with a save percentage of .915 and 396 quality starts in his career. The Bruins, on the other hand, struggled to score in Game 2, managing only one goal on 15 shots. Jeremy Swayman has been a reliable presence in goal for Boston, with a save percentage of .919 and 81 quality starts in his career. Both teams have been strong offensively, with the Panthers scoring 265 goals on the season and the Bruins scoring 263 goals. Defensively, the Panthers have allowed 198 goals, while the Bruins have allowed 221 goals. Given the Panthers' recent performance and offensive firepower, the prediction is for Florida to win 4-2, covering the minus 115 spread. The Vancouver Canucks will host the Edmonton Oilers in Game 2 of the Western Conference Semifinals at Rogers Arena. Vancouver currently leads the series 1-0, with Edmonton listed as minus 140 favorites and Vancouver at plus 115. The total for the game is set at 7 goals. In Game 1, the Oilers suffered a 5-4 defeat to the Canucks despite a solid offensive performance. They scored 4 goals on 18 shots and had 1 power play goal. Edmonton has been effective on the power play this season, scoring 64 goals on 243 opportunities. Stuart Skinner is expected to be in goal for the Oilers. He has a save percentage of .909 and has recorded 70 quality starts in his career. The Canucks, on the other hand, converted 5 goals on 24 shots in Game 1. They have scored 279 goals this season, with 221 coming at even strength and 58 on the power play. Artur Silovs is likely to be the Canucks goaltender, with a save percentage of .898 in his NHL career. Given the offensive capabilities of both teams, the prediction is for Vancouver to win, plus 115, and for the total to go under 6.5 goals, with a final score of 4-1 in favor of the Canucks.